Hey guys, Rosita here and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I still have crazy teacher hair. Um, but you know, I felt really motivated to film multiple videos today. So, oh, I, I honestly, I love my job. I love what I do and just the fact that I get motivated to do more in my in my career, like in my industry, it's oh, I'm such in a happy place right now. All right. So for those that do not know me, my name is Rosita. I am a learning specialist. I am a vocal and language coach. I am a teacher and in my channel, I am here to help you guys to be the best educator that you guys can be. All right. So in this video, this is going to be more geared to foreign language teaching. And today we're going to be talking about or rather understanding L1 and L2 languages as it is very important to understand the distinction between the two. So let's get started. All right. So when most people are born, you know, they'll be raised by their parents, their parents, their parents or guardians that will use one main language to communicate with each other. Now, as an infant, as a baby, they'll hear this language being spoken and will naturally pick it up over time. You know, their parents will say, hello, goodbye, bye bye. And they will associate these sounds with concepts. This will be a native language, also known as a person's L1 language, L1 language. While some families will use more than one language to communicate with each other, especially if they're from a multilingual home, a child might learn to speak both languages at the same time. They'll usually be more of a preference towards one though. Uh, for an example, I'm going to use myself here. I grew up speaking three languages. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and I didn't know the grammar of it at the time. I just, you know, as I was growing up, I just picked it up. And then we have L2 languages. The secondary language will be considered as an L2 language. Now, some students might learn multiple languages in addition to their L1 language. If we take the um, if we take an example of, OK, uh, a student who's growing up in France with French speaking parents and they want them to learn English as a secondary language, they may also be considering that their language, uh, that their child may learn Spanish or German in addition to English. So their least dominant language might be considered their L3 language. But in practice, both English or Spanish and or, and or German would be referred to as an L2 language. And why is this important? The way we learn L1 and L2 languages can be quite different. Understanding these differences can help you plan lessons that are more effective for your students. And in the next couple of videos, we're going to be learning more about the differences between these two and then look at additional techniques to support our students. And yeah, that's it. That that was a very short video. Uh, if you guys found this video helpful, insightful, informative, you liked it, you like the crazy hair, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, and if you guys have any questions, again, please don't hesitate to ask. And until next time, I shall see you in another day fully brushed. All right. Bye, everyone. See you soon.